I'm Taylor Bashotti with NFL Network Now on the Westwood One Radio Network. Could Bill Belichick be the next head coach of the team whose hearts he broke with the famous 28-3 comeback Super Bowl win? NFL Network Insider Ian Rappaport reports the former Patriots coach will have a second interview with the Falcons this weekend for their head coach opening. Former Titans head coach Mike Vrabel garnering interest as well. The 2021 NFL Coach of the Year interviewed for the Chargers head coach job Thursday for NFL Network insider Tom Pelissero. Lions offensive coordinator Ben Johnson has more than just the Bucks to prepare for this weekend. He's interviewing for the Panthers and Commanders head coaching jobs Friday and with the Chargers and Seahawks Saturday. Elsewhere, the Ravens could have Mark Andrews back for the first time since week 11. The all-pro tight end is questionable to play Saturday against the Texans after returning from an ankle injury. But Ravens three-time Pro Bowl corner Marlon Humphrey has been ruled out with a calf injury. This has been NFL Network Now on the Westwood One Radio Network. Wesley Financial Group is not a law firm. This story is called The Ugly Truth About Timeshare. If you think you've done your family a favor by buying a timeshare, you need my help. Hello, I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group. Ten years ago, I started helping folks cancel their timeshare. In the process, started what's now called the timeshare cancellation industry. The ugly truth is when you buy a timeshare, you can't tell me how much it's going to cost or when it's going to end. I recently helped a couple that had their maintenance fees go from $800 to $3,200 a year. They also received a $4,000 assessment for a hurricane that was over 1,000 miles away. Sound crazy? The crazy thing is this never ends. Call my office now. If we take you as a client, I guarantee we'll cancel your timeshare or you'll pay nothing. Call for your free information kit. Call 800-462-3333. That's 800-462-3333. 800-462-3333. Well, it is 7.30 on a uh, Friday, the 19th day of January, 2024. I'm Carol in the newsroom. It's Gene. Uh, hola. hola. Buenos dias. Yes, I haven't seen you in a long time. Oh, where you been hiding? Okay. Uh, I, I can't tell you because then it wouldn't be a secret. Okay, okay. Yes. Uh, uh, we forget sometimes that you have that double O designation, much yep. like uh, Bond, James Bond, yeah. right? Yes. Yes. James Bond. Okay. I saw what's the guy he is so thin that plays uh 007 more recently oh what uh, daniel uh Pier, uh, Pier, Pier, pierce bronson okay yes okay he yep. looks emaciated i saw him oh it's been several years now but uh in the uh airport in la and i took a triple take he looks un CBS unhealthy. A Boeing cargo plane had to make an emergency okay. landing in Miami on, yesterday after suffering an engine malfunction. They made a uh, giant zero nine five heavy. Uh... Okay, I know what the problem is. Got okay. it fixed. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's looking all over for the problem, and it was me. Slap that uh, control board around. Yes. Oh, well, in the news, McDonald's is bringing back the double Big Mac. Beginning uh, next Wednesday, the Double Big Mac, the sandwich features four beef patties instead of two. Huh. Hmm. Uh, the Double Big Mac will include better grill settings and softer buns. Uh, isn't that what everybody needs, softer buns? Yeah, yeah. I was waiting for the other part yes. of what you were going to uh, tell us. Ah, uh, Do we really... Okay, you're going to get the double Big Mac, supersize the fries, and order a Diet Coke, right? Yeah. <laughs> Heavy that makes on it the, all good. Yeah. Heavy on the Diet Coke. Okay. Uh, let's see. Birthdays today. Are you ready? I'm ready. Remember the movie uh, The Birds? Yes. Okay. Actor Tippi Hedren is 94 today. Woo. Journalist Robert McDeal, 93. Director Richard Lester is 92. Actor, singer Michael Crawford, 82. The uh, Phantom of the Opera. Mm -hmm. Actor Shelley Fabre is 80. We mentioned Dolly Parton, 78 today. Singer Martha Davis of the Motel, 73. Singer Dewey Bunnell of America, 72. Desi Arnaz Jr., 71. Actor Katie Segal is uh, 70. Comedian Paul Rodriguez is 69. He's a hoot. Yeah, he... Uh, <laughs> Paul Rodriguez. Yep. 
comes into the Valley on uh, occasion. Yes. Actor Paul McCrane is 63. Actor William Ragsdale is 63. Who else? Um, let's see. Actor Sean Wayans, 53. Actor Dre De Matteo is 52. Comedian Frank Caliendo is 50. Actor Drew Powell, 48. Actor Marsha Thomason, 48. Actor Bitsy Tullock is 43. Actor Jody Sweeten, 42. Actor Seanette Renee Wilson, 34. Actor Brianna Henry is 32. How about some local birthdays? You ready? I'm ready. They're coming up. Hi, this is Arturo Garcia, physician assistant at Intercare, and we are looking forward to meeting all your health care needs in the upcoming year. At Intercare, we have six comprehensive health care centers right here in the Imperial Valley, ready to provide the excellent care you deserve. To find a center near you, visit intercare.org or call 760-344-9951. Intercare, making life healthy from the inside out. We have happy birthday wishes going out to Vanessa Lyons, Ada Munoz, Ashley Herrera, Terry Allen, Bertha Torres, Julie Egder, Taylor Bradigam, Alicia Alvarado, Floyd McGill, Jim Miller, Jose Flores, Mary Lopez, Martha Mendoza, Travis Hopnick, Yahira Gonzalez, Mike Trujillo, and Maribel Velasquez. Happy birthday from KXO. Okay, it's a Friday uh, weekend coming up, and uh, there are some things happening this weekend, but uh, coming up uh, not too distant, it's going to be all sorts of activities, uh, starting with the uh, Carrot Festival. Yeah, okay. Carrot Festival. And uh, I'm going to ask that they postpone the Carrot Festival. The carrots in uh, Pam's garden are not quite ready for harvest yet. Well, you know, that could pose a problem. You may uh, want to get a hold of your uh, your representative right now. You know, I think so. Them. I'll call the Holtville Chamber and uh, see, see if we they... can postpone until the uh, carrots in Pam's Garden are ready. Yeah. They're, they're running a little bit late. So are the tomatoes, actually. I'd, we've got lots of blooms. And, and the tomato, tomatoes are my, um, yeah, that, that's my uh, area. She does everything else in the garden. For whatever reason, I ended up uh, with the tomatoes. And they're not quite ready yet. Lots and lots of blooms, but uh, not a lot of tomatoes yet. Using that new tractor? Exactly. That, uh, that could be the, the question right there. Instead of always being hand done, you're using a tractor. And yeah. They don't, well, they, it's they don't not a like real it. big tractor. It's uh, a Tonka. So, <laughs> Well, some of those Tonkas, uh, I'd swear, have an engine in them. Some of them do. And uh, they're pretty much indestructible, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, pretty much. Yep. Uh, okay. So uh, we've got news. If you're ready, we're going to we, jump in. We certainly have got some news this morning. So let's go. Okay, it's World in California News Headlines to start with. It's brought to you by Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal Lock, your year-round comfort specialist. CBS News Brief. A Boeing cargo plane had to make an emergency landing in Miami yesterday after suffering an engine malfunction. They made a uh, Giant 095 heavy uh, engine fire. That's from liveatc.net. There were no injuries. Snow is coming down and the roads are icy. Drivers in Ashland, Kentucky tell us. Slick. Yeah, real slick. Yeah. You don't have to come out. Don't come out. Yes. They're not in good shape. The guys, you need to stay in as much as you can or take in precaution. CBS's Caitlin Huey Burns is in Manchester, New Hampshire, ahead of Tuesday's primary. The challenge, she says, for former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley. She can appeal to independent and undeclared voters here, but uh, can she get some Republicans to turn out enthusiasm for her through the stretch is uh, a question that remains to be seen. Haley, former President Trump and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis are all campaigning in New Hampshire today. 
CBS News Brief. I'm Stacy Lynn. Become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer and get special pricing on cooling and heating tune-ups all year long. Call today to become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer at 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. That's 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. Lock VIPs receive discounted service and maintenance, discounted repairs, and priority service with prompt service. Lock Air Conditioning is your local York dealer, but they repair it all. So when the need arises, don't hesitate to call Lock Air Conditioning at 76093 L O C K E. That's 76093 L O C K E. Lock, the only name in air conditioning for over 40 years. York, install with confidence. Contractor's license number 696216. California Headline News The Los Angeles Innocence Project takes up the notorious case of Scott Peterson, a man convicted of killing his wife and unborn child more than two decades ago. The Innocence Project asking to take a fresh look at the evidence as Peterson's family continues to say he's wrongly convicted. There is no forensic evidence. There is no timeline to this crime. Scott Peterson is innocent. Attorneys with the Innocence Project say Peterson's rights were violated and they say new evidence supports his actual innocence. Wet weather moving into the state this weekend. We get storm number one or wave number one coming in Saturday. So rain will come in in the afternoon on Saturday, it looks like, and the bulk of the precipitation Saturday night. Alex Tardy with the Weather Service in Southern California. The northern region could get hit by three storms back to back beginning late today and tomorrow. LA Times employees in multiple cities planning to hold a one day strike today. First time employees striking in the newspaper's 142 year history. They're protesting planned staff cuts. Jeff Scott, California News. World in California News headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. For repair, for replacement, call the experts. Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. The first time I tried to quit vaping, I told myself that it was like a mountain that I had to climb over. And once I got to the other side, it would be clear. But I, I couldn't make it over. What really got me to quit was my little sister. I saw her vaping. So I was back in the mountain, but this time she was up there with me. It's weird what you can do for others that you won't do for yourself. Every attempt is part of your story to quit for good. Visit Kick It California today at kickitca.org. This year, wouldn't it be great to stop dealing with thin, brittle, shedding hair and instead have the thick, healthy, gorgeous hair you've always wanted? Well, now you can by using Hair Volume from New Nordic. Hair Volume is the all-natural solution trusted by millions of women around the world to say goodbye to thin, brittle, shedding hair. Look for Hair Volume at your local Walgreens and CVS or online at Amazon.com or NewNordicUSA.com. Go to NewNordicUSA.com, Amazon, or ask for Hair Volume at your local Walgreens or CVS. It's page one of the local news. Page one of service of El Centro Motors, Quick Lane, Tire and Auto Centers. They have three locations in the valley. Quick Lane, they service all makes and all models, and you never need an appointment. Taking a look at the latest in uh, local news, a local drug uh, seizure. Nearly a half a million dollars worth of methamphetamine was taken off the street over last weekend. On Friday night, U.S. Border Patrol agents conducted a traffic stop on Interstate 8 near Campo. Here's George Gale with more on the story. Well, you're going to have to just wait a minute, and I will find George. He's, uh, he's hiding in the back room. I think he's hanging out near the, um, the, the coffee uh, maker, but uh, I found him. On Friday night, a U.S. Border Patrol agents conducted a traffic stop on Interstate 8 near Campo. A Border Patrol K-9 team alerted to the SUV, and agents were able to locate multiple foil-wrapped packages near the front wheel well and undercarriage. Packages contained approximately 128 pounds of meth with a street value of over $190,000. Driver was turned over to San Diego County Sheriff's for further investigation. On Saturday afternoon at about 4.45 p.m., a Border Patrol K-9 team alerted to a truck on the Highway 86 checkpoint near Salton City. In the uh, secondary inspection area, agents checked the uh, gas tank and found over 166 pounds of liquid methamphetamine. Hazmat team was able to uh, remove the liquid drugs. The uh, meth at a street value of $250,000, a driver, 39-year-old Mexican citizen, was turned over to the Drug Enforcement Administration for further investigation. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. 
Well, movie night at the park. Uh, it's being hosted by the city of Imperial. The Imperial Parks and Recreation Department will host the event at uh, Deputy Anthony Redondo uh, Memorial Park. It will be held uh, January the 19th, beginning at uh, 6 p.m. The movie will be the Super Mario Brothers. A snack bar will be open for the event. Attendees are asked to bring their own uh, chairs and blankets. The event is free to the public. KXO News Time, 743. Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers have the best price on name brand tires guaranteed. Now we're talking Michelin, Pirelli, Dunlap, Bridgestone, Continental, and more. See a Quick Lane Service Advisor and get the best price guaranteed. Remember, Quick Lane Services all makes and all models, and they're conveniently located in the Brawley Auto Center at the Imperial Valley Mall at Old Central Motors, and their new mobile service van comes to you with no added charge. Well, the Imperial Valley, it needs uh, baseball and softball umpires. George Gale explains. There is a serious shortage of men and women who want to umpire high school sports. It is a situation that is not only affecting baseball and softball, but all sports. The uh, lack of high school sports officials is apparent nationwide, not just in Imperial Valley. The Imperial Valley Umpires Association is recruiting men and women who want to work local high school baseball and or softball games. Uh, no experience is needed as the association does provide training and guidance. Officials are compensated. Anyone interested is invited to attend the IVUA meeting on Monday, January 22nd at 5.15 p.m. Meeting will be in Trailer 5 near the swimming pool on the campus of Central Union High School. Questions may be directed to Greg Lyon at Lyon at mycuhs.org. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. And that concludes this edition of Local News. Stay with us, though, for page two. Page one of the Local News, a service of Quick Lane Tyrone Auto Centers. You'll find Quick Lanes at uh, El Central Motors, at the Imperial Valley Mall, and in the Brawley Auto Center, Highway 86 and Julia Drive. It's the Peanut Patch in Yuma. The Peanut Patch. What a great place to visit. I recommend you visit the Peanut Patch and uh, enjoy. They're open Monday through Saturday, 9 till 5, Yuma time. And the store carries so many homemade, delicious chocolates, English toffee, pecan turtles, so many great things. Yeah, so much more than peanuts. The Peanut Patch. You get there by going to Yuma. Take Avenue 3E and go past MCAS Yuma until you come to East County 13th Street. Turn left and go for about another mile and a half and you're at the Peanut Patch. The Peanut Patch. You know, they're so big they even have their own post office mm -hmm. they'll ship anywhere in the universe from the peanut patch it's a great way to spend a day a saturday or any day a quick getaway that you will enjoy the peanut patch in yuma and it's page two of the local news with weather, all brought to you by Burgers and Beer, serving the best burgers in town. They have daily lunch specials Monday through Friday, and of course, happy hour, 3 till 6 p.m. daily. Well, the IVRMA is hosting uh, two, count them again, two cleanup events. Here's more on that story. Both will be held this weekend. On Saturday, the Imperial Valley Resource Management Agency will host a cleanup event in El Centro. It will be set up at 702 Heil from 8 a.m. until 12 noon. Residents will be able to dispose of a long list of items. There will also be uh, free oil containers. On Sunday, the IVRMA event will be in Calexico. Residents will be able to dispose of a long list of items at 500 West 5th Street from 8 a.m. until 12 noon. Call 1-877-RECYCLE if you have any questions. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. Well, two uh, seizures uh, in a separate incident. Here's more on that story. Both seizures occurred on the same day uh, this week. 
Both were reported at the San Yosidro uh, port of entry. The first incident was just uh, after 5 a.m. 42-year-old man drove a silver car through the sentry lanes. The vehicle was stopped uh, after the uh, vehicle. The car was sent to the secondary inspection area. Officers uh, retrieved uh, two packages containing methamphetamine. The packages weighed close to eight pounds. The meth was valued at over $11,500. A couple of hours later, a 51-year-old man drove a black SUV into the sentry lane. The vehicle was referred to the secondary inspection area. CBP officers found a single square package attached to the undercarriage of the vehicle. The package contained another two and a half uh, pounds of fentanyl pills uh, valued at $29,000. Both drivers were arrested, arrested and turned over to Homeland Security. Well, Womanhaven hosts another workshop. George Gale explains. The workshop is on domestic violence in Imperial Valley. Domestic Violence Response Team will be presenting information on domestic violence in Imperial County. There will also be a brief presentation on the history of the Domestic Violence Response Team and its purpose. Workshop will be held Wednesday, January 24th at the Womanhaven Thrift Store on Main Street in El Centro. Contact Womanhaven to register to attend. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. And here's Carol Buckley with a look at the weather. Badge coming up. Did you know that Burgers and Beer has a happy hour every single day from 3 to 6? With specials on fried machaca burrito bites, RV nachos, mini tostadas, and more. Plus $2 off tall beers and shot and drink specials. Ready for a fast and inexpensive lunch? Get one of our weekday lunch specials that include a soft drink for only 8 to $10. With tons of TVs, we've got you covered for any sport you want to watch. Burgers and Beer, with five locations. Proudly serving you, your family, and friends since 1985. Burgers and Beer, for the best burger in town. The National Weather Service says dry, tranquil weather conditions will continue through tomorrow with above normal afternoon temperatures in the low to mid-70s. An unsettled weather pattern will then prevail starting Saturday evening, bringing below normal temperatures along with increasing rain chances that will last into early next week. The best rain chances in the Imperial Valley occur late Saturday into Tuesday before drying out going into Wednesday. 73 the high in the valley yesterday, 46 the overnight low, mostly cloudy today, then gradually becoming sunny with a high near 74. West wind about 5 miles an hour. Tonight increasing clouds with a low around 52. Light and variable wind becoming west 5 to 10 miles an hour after midnight. Saturday, partly sunny with a high near 74. West wind about 5 miles an hour, then becoming south. Saturday night, mostly cloudy, a 40% chance of showers. Look for a low around 56, west-southwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour. Partly sunny on Sunday with a high near 71, west winds 10 to 15 miles an hour, gusting up to 25 miles an hour. 49 degrees, 71% relative humidity, wind out of the west-southwest at about 3 miles an hour. Local news, page 2, brought to you by Burgers and Beer, the place for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Bring the family, meet your friends at Burgers and Beer. This is Sarah Griffin with the Imperial Valley Food Bank. Food has the power to fuel communities, especially for those struggling to find their next meal. As the main distribution center of donated food in Imperial County, we store, rescue, and purchase food in bulk to serve 25,000 people each month at over 30 locations. Join the fight against hunger and food insecurity in the Imperial Valley by donating online today at www.ivfoodbank.org. It's sports time brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, an affiliate of the Scripps Health Network, working together to provide you the best care. 
In NBA action, the Knicks beat up on the uh, Wizards, 113-109. Bulls beat the Raptors, 116-110. Thunder top the light, the uh, Jazz, 134-129. Timberwolves over the Grizzlies, 118-103. And the Pacers, uh, they top the Kings, 126-121. Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, ready to serve you and your family for all of your health care needs. Let our team of dedicated physicians guide you on your journey to better health. Pioneers is a recognized leader in healthcare and has more than 10 health centers and clinics throughout the Imperial Valley. When the need arises, don't hesitate to come and see us. We have services and locations in Calexico and Raleigh, and of course, our award-winning hospital, Pioneers Memorial. For more information on all Pioneer services, visit www.pmhd.org today. In NFL news, the day before the Arizona Cardinals moved the majority of their non-football operations out of their longtime practice facility and into a nearby workspace, they fired three high-ranking employees at the vice president level or above. Meanwhile, in other news, Ohio State is set to hire former NFL head coach Bill O'Brien as the school's new offensive coordinator according to sources. And um, in other news, Zach Johnson embraced the pressure of being the U.S. Ryder Cup captain last year, even if the experience didn't go the way anybody on his team hoped. Anyway, Johnson uh, made seven of his ten birdies on the front nine on the way to a 10 under 62, and a share of the uh, lead in the first round of the tournament underway in La Quinta. Football, NFL football, Saturday double dip, Houston Texans, Baltimore Ravens. We've got the game starting at one. Green Bay Packers, San Francisco 49ers will follow that. On Sunday, right here on AM 1230, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Detroit Lions, uh, 1130 pregame. The Kansas City Chiefs and the Buffalo Bills will follow that. That's it for Sports Time, brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District. Log on to pmhd.org for more information about Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District. Thank you for choosing Imperial Printers Rocket Copy. In today's highly competitive business climate, your company's image is important. The printed materials your company uses conveys a major part of that image. Our graphic designers have the talent and expertise to create a lasting impression for your business. Imperial Printers Rocket Copy offers virtually any type of business solution to meet your needs. From business cards and stationery to computer forms, full color brochures and posters. Let our excellent service and attention to detail provide the best impression for you. Locally owned and operated, Imperial Printers Rocket Copy has locations near you at 430 West Main Street and 100 South 11th Street in El Centro and 184 South Plaza in Brawley. And right now we're going to take a look at financial news and a brief look at our weather. It's brought to you by Southwest Security, a locally owned company protecting you and your property. Southwest Security also offering live scan fingerprinting to the public. Wayfair is laying off 1,650 employees. That's about 13% of its global workforce as the online home goods retailers struggle to rebound following its successes amid pandemic lockdowns. CEO Niraj Shah, who recently went viral for telling his employees to work harder, said in an open letter posted today that Wayfair went overboard in hiring during a strong economic period and now has to adjust. Meanwhile, Macy's plans to cut 2,350 jobs and close five stores, according to the Wall Street Journal. The company is trying to curb expenses, embrace more technology, and meet the demands of what it said was an ever-changing consumer marketplace. The cuts, which amount to about 13% of Macy's corporate staff, and 3.5% of its staff overall 
are part of an effort to shed cost, eliminate management layers, and redirect spending toward improving customer shopping experience, according to the Wall Street Journal. The dismissals will begin January 26th, according to a memo. And staffers at the Los Angeles Times will stage a one-day walkout today after the newspaper's management indicated that it expects to soon lay off employees as it continues its financial struggles. So what's happening on Wall Street? We see green. The Dow up 106 points at 37.585. The S&P 500 up uh, 17 points at 47.97. The NASDAQ up 77 points at 15.132. Gold up 6.20 an ounce and oil up 47 cents a barrel. Hi, this is Jason Jackson, owner of Southwest Security. Two years ago, I opened Southwest Postal, offering you 24-hour access, 365 days a year. So if you're tired of dealing with the inconvenience of our post office hours, and you would like to be able to get your mail when you want, Saturdays, Sundays, holidays, in the middle of the night, then come visit us at Southwest Postal with 24-hour staff. Plus, we're also your local FedEx, DHL, and Postal Service Center. We even offer text message and email notification when you receive your mail. Southwest Postal at the corner of 4th and Howe in El Centro. We'll start today mostly cloudy, then gradually becoming sunny. Look for a high near 74. West wind about 5 miles an hour, becoming calm. Tonight, increasing clouds with a low around 52. Light and variable wind becoming west 5 to 10 miles an hour after midnight. Partly sunny on Saturday with a high near 74. West wind about 5 miles an hour, then becoming south. Saturday night, mostly cloudy, a 40% chance of showers. Look for a low around 56. West-southwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour. 49 degrees, 69% relative humidity. Wind out of the west-southwest 3 to 5 miles an hour. Financial news and a brief look at the weather brought to you by Southwest Security Services, offering 24-hour-a-day post office boxes at Southwest Postal at the corner of 4th and Heil in El Centro. Get ready, we're going to take you around the world. The best oldies on the radio. KXO, El Centro, on AM 1230, KXO. CBS News brought to you by the Imperial Valley Food Bank, fighting hunger in Imperial County since 1991. CBS News on the Hour, sponsored by O'Reilly Auto Parts. I'm Steve Kathan. It'll be a weekend of campaigning in New Hampshire with the first in the nation Republican primary next Tuesday. CBS's Caitlin Huey Burns says it's a battle between former President Trump and Nikki Haley. The former South Carolina governor has picked up the pace to try and close the gap with Trump. Is New Hampshire make or break for your campaign? You got to go to my home state of South Carolina. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is headed to South Carolina this weekend and has all but seated New Hampshire. But even with a narrowed race here, Haley has an uphill climb. Can Nikki Haley win New Hampshire? Oh, she can. We want to make sure Nikki had a really strong second place. But it does seem like second place is downplaying some expectations coming out of here. Considering that she was in single digits a month and a half ago and she's got second place locked up already, that's amazing. That's New Hampshire Governor Chris Sununu, who backs Haley. South Carolina's primary is next month. Snow and ice are making travel treacherous from Tennessee north to Michigan and into the northeast. These people had a rough go of it on Interstate 64 near Ashland, Kentucky. Slow down and stop switching lanes. Drive slow. <laughs> like, definitely drive slow and watch out. Odyssey New York meteorologist Craig Allen says it's still bitterly cold in the nation's midsection. Temperatures again this morning range from anywhere from zero to about minus 25 actual readings. And wind chills are once again below minus 20, making it feel like minus 20, minus 30 degrees. And even in some cases, it's around minus 40. CBS Jim Crisula now on some trouble aboard a cargo jet. The FAA is investigating after an Atlas Air Boeing 747 
Chapman made an emergency landing at Miami International Airport after an engine malfunction shortly after takeoff. Mayday, Mayday, uh, Giant 095, heavy uh, engine fire. Request back to the airport. That audio is courtesy of ATC.net. Unverified videos posted on social media showed flames shooting out of the left wing of the plane in flight. There were five people on board. No one was hurt. On the ground, electric vehicles may be the future, but the present for Ford production has encountered some rough road. Jeff Gilbert has details from Detroit affiliate WWJ. Ford's going down to one shift at its new Rouge Electric Vehicle Center, saying it sees slower growth in EV sales. That's a change in course at a facility that was recently expanded. Ford's also facing new electric pickups from traditional competitors like Chevy, as well as EV makers Rivian and Tesla. And checking Wall Street, right now the Dow is up 119 points. NASDAQ is ahead 71. This is CBS News. Think O'Reilly Auto Parts for all your car care needs. Get the parts and service you need fast from the professional parts people at O'Reilly Auto Parts. The venue set. Families coming in from all over. It's our quinceañera. With all the excitement, it may be easy to overlook COVID-19. It's still a risk, and that's why it's muy importante to get this season's COVID-19 shot ahead of time. It helps protect against COVID-19, which can cause severe illness and hospitalization. So let's set the date, vaccinate, and celebrate. Learn about a vaccine option and book this season's updated COVID-19 shot today at ScheduleCovidVax.com. Sponsored by Pfizer. It's a mystery where Old Spice finds its amazing scents like Himalayan sea salt. But I'm thrilled they have because no other body wash exfoliates and moisturizes 24-7 like Old Spice Gentleman's Himalayan sea salt body wash. Now, if only there was a mountain range separating the Indian subcontinent from the Tibetan plateau where I could hide my Old Spice and keep my family from stealing it, my impossibly smooth skin will finally be safe. France and Russia at odds. Russia summoned France's ambassador to its foreign ministry today for a dressing down over French fighters in Ukraine. Russia's Ministry of Defense said its armed forces destroyed a temporary deployment in Kharkiv for foreign fighters, most of whom were French. It said 60 militants were killed. Russia says it will appeal to French lawmakers about what it calls French mercenaries fighting for Ukraine. Elaine Cobb, CBS News, Paris. The private moon lander that encountered trouble and failed after launch earlier this month has now disintegrated in Earth's atmosphere. And Japan has become just the fifth country to put a spacecraft on the moon. What's been described as a precision landing took place within the hour, dubbed the Moon Sniper. The goal was to get it within 300 feet of its intended target. Japan's space program has suffered some recent setbacks. Steve Kaif and CBS News. My name is Sarah Griffin, and I'm the executive director of the Imperial Valley Food Bank. Food has the power to fuel communities, especially for those struggling to find their next meal. As a monthly donor, you can help the Imperial Valley Food Bank purchase food in bulk to meet the growing needs of the more than 25,000 people we serve each month at over 30 locations. Even small monthly gifts can go a long way in helping fight against hunger and food insecurity in the Imperial Valley. Please consider giving monthly by donating online at www.ivfoodbank.org. CBS News, presented by the Imperial Valley Food Bank, fighting hunger in Imperial Valley since 1991. Become a hunger warrior. Contact the Imperial Valley Food Bank. And now, more of the best oldies on the radio. I always have my music on. With Carol Buckley. I can't go a day without it. 